Welcome to the Mormon Book Reviews, where a evangelical encounters the restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Pinecker, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, for my Tuesday's Tangent segment, I'm going to talk about the interview that I just posted the other day with Denver Snuffer, which I filmed that morning and posted that evening. And I've been getting a ton and ton of feedback throughout the world about it, and it's been getting a lot of views as well. Um, but before I do that, there's a few things I want to talk about. Um, the channel is doing very, very well. Uh, we get new subscribers every day. You know, we're like picking up, you know, 5, 10, 15 new subscribers a day. We're closing in on 2,000 subscribers. So I'd like maybe suggestions in the comments about what would you think would be a great idea to do for a special episode once we reach the 2,000 threshold. We're also well on our way to 150,000 views. We're well on our way to a lot of other big milestones for the channel. And uh, so we'll be hitting those very soon. And we'd like to do some things because I want to thank you, all of you. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, only about a third of my audience subscribes. If I had the other another third subscribed, it would grow the channel substantially. Um, it also would increase revenue and all these other things that are important. And speaking of revenue, this is what I want to talk about. I have a few uh, sources of revenue, um, but I travel like three, four times a year now. So every about every two or three months, I'm traveling. And that takes a lot of money. So it, it, you know, airfare, hotels, Ubers, car rental, if I need to get a car. Um, I, I'm sometimes able to stay at people's places, like Randy Bell let me stay at his place, which was really cool for a couple of days last time I was in Utah. And I appreciate that too. But I, um, but basically the problem is, is that a lot of my money is going to, towards travel expenses. And we really want to do equipment upgrade. Now I got two new box lights, two new professional lights. That was 150 bucks for, for new lighting. Um, and I'm able to pay Anthony, my producer, but basically I pay him enough to cover his car payment. I'd love to pay, pay Anthony more because he does such a great job. He's making new thumbnails. He's teaching himself. Every, I mean, we've, we literally taught ourselves everything that this channel, we, we taught ourselves we, or, we, or we got advice from people and went with it. So I just would like to ask that if you would consider making a contribution to the channel, um, I'm going to leave links in the description. Um, you could be a Patreon or you could give direct contributions via PayPal. Uh, the merch store, uh, you know, I'm selling, I'm actually selling a lot of coffee mugs, which is interesting. Um, gotten, this is a new hat that just came in, new shirt with a bigger MBR logo. So we've got different hoodies and all that. So if you want to support the channel that way, please uh, consider that. Also, I will be having a sponsorship of the channel, which I hope to announce soon, which is kind of a big deal because I don't know if, I don't know if too many podcast, Mormon podcasts that have sponsors. So that's going to be really cool. So thanks again for everything. So this is where I want to talk about um, with, with Denver Snuffer. Uh, what a fantastic response I've been getting from people all over the world. I've been, people who've been direct messaging me on, on Reddit, on Facebook, uh, people have been calling, my phone's been off the hook, text messages, emails. People really, really enjoyed the Denver Snuffer interview. And a lot of them said it was the best interview ever done of Denver, which is like, that's high because some of the shows he's been on, that's like really high compliment, as you might imagine. So that means a lot. And I mean, it means a really a heck of a lot. And I think every interview that he's done has been important and good. But of course, my approach is different than everybody else's. So it's going to be a different interview. I got some great comments about how people really enjoyed hearing about his evangelical background, being raised Baptist. Um, you know, that, those stories haven't really been told. And I've been hearing from evangelicals who are fascinated by his story. Um, the positive, like I said, has been very positive. Hearing from across the world, it was a groundbreaking episode, no doubt about it, because in, in essence, you can argue that the canon of his movement was expanded because he was re a revealed the things that he hadn't talked about before. And typically those things get canonized. So in one sense, this show may have actually contributing to expanding the canon of the rest independent restorationist movement that is affiliated with Denver Snuffer. Interesting stuff. And uh, I just thought the interview went so good. You know, we, we, we did a Zoom call like a week before, and I think that's key. I always try to do a Zoom call ahead of an interview so we can kind of get to know each other. And I think he kind of got, okay, this, you know, and he's been watching my program. Again, Denver Snuffer's watching my program. I mean, who would have thunk it, right? 14 months ago, right? And um, it was just such a, we, we had like a really good chemistry. And, uh, you know, I told him that the Lord showed me he was going to be on my program, just like the Lord showed me that I was going to be on John DeLynn's program. The Lord's also showed me other things um, involving Denver. I haven't uh, talked to him about it, but I do think that there will be other, uh, I think Denver will be coming back on eventually. But I also think, I think there's something else might, come out of that too. I'm not joining any group or anything like that, but I find him to be a very fascinating person. 
and uh, I, I want to continue the dialogue, and I think he wants to continue the dialogue as well. Um, the other thing that really um, touched me was, um, you know, how positive he was towards me in the channel, the kind words he said, which really did touch me. Um, and he even said it was because of my spirit that caused him to feel comfortable to come and share things that he hasn't shared before in public. And I thought, okay, you know, the right spirit, right? And that's what this channel has been about, try, attempting to be all along, is having the right spirit, a place where all the voices of the restoration will be heard on Mormon book reviews. And they have been, and they will continue to be heard. And they will be treated with respect. And uh, we're gonna have a conversation because I just wanna know more and more. And I know my audience does as well. So this is a show, not about how much I know, this is a show about finding out more information that I didn't know and then sharing it with the audience. And I'm learning as you're going along. And I think it's a great thing for whether you're outside of the LDS uh, restorationist movement or inside of it. It's I hope I'm providing a service. And I'd like to hear your comments, what you think of the channel. I mean, it's, it's generally positive and it always makes me feel good when I hear kind words from the audience. Um, so like I said, uh, heading down to Sunstone. I hope to do an interview, interview John DeLynn. I hope, uh, hopefully we'll be able to guest on Randy Bell's podcast, which is like a really cool podcast. He's, he's actually, his co-host is Nicole Brown Simpson's sister. Uh, Randy would consulted with the uh, Brown family during the OJ Simpson trial. I mean, I've had Randy on, he's, he's a great guest and, and watch my interview with Randy Bell. That's a really good one. Um, I did interview, uh, like I said, I mentioned, I met, uh, interviewed Chris Jensen. I also am going to be probably interviewing and possibly posting it this Friday, interview with Josh Gailey called Witnessing Miracles, Historical Evidence for the Resurrection and the Book of Mormon. It is published by the Church of Jesus Christ, our Pentecostal friends. I, I know it's not Pentecostal, but our friends in Monongahela, Pennsylvania. And uh, this is a hardcover uh, reader's copy that he, he sent me. I, I have paged through it. And of course, a lot of what this book is, is covered, not a lot, but some is covered in my interview with Josh, where he gives a, a pretty, I think, pretty convincing case that if you're going to use the arguments that evangelicals use for the resurrection of Jesus Christ, all he does is take those same arguments, takes them one step further and applies it to the coming forth of the Book of Mormon. And that it, it makes an argument that there were plates, that was there was tangibility to these plates. There were eyewitnesses accounts and, uh, and it's a stronger case can be made for the coming forth of the Book of Mormon than can be made for the resurrection, which I will readily, readily concede. Okay, so the thing about evangelicals out there, uh, see this channel isn't about me trying to show how much I know or try to prove people wrong or try to convert them or proselytize them. It really is about a channel about having conversations because you know what folks, anybody who thinks that they play any role <laughs> in bringing people to heaven or hell in one sense, they're deluding themselves. Um, God, God does it. Um, he works through us, and it's about a lot him, uh, us allowing him to work through us. That's the key thing. And it's not about me. Like I said, I'm not trying to convert anybody uh, to leave the LDS Church. I'm just actually the only goal I have is just I want you to have a personal relationship with the Savior. I want you to um, know Jesus and love Jesus, and 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 have a personal relationship and friendship with Jesus. And to me, that's all I really care about. Um, I don't really care what church you go to on Sunday mornings. I don't think God does either. His people are known to him. And it doesn't matter what building you go to on Sunday. The other thing I want to say is the channel is, uh, you know, I have to say the, the, the Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, um, has really blessed me. And they blessed me because I'm able to talk to uh, various people associated with the church whether for BYU, Deseret News, and uh, the church office, historian's office. And uh, that means a lot. And I want to continue the friendship. And I want to, I just want to thank you, Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, for um, being part of this endeavor in one sense. Uh, you know, I'm an independent guy, but, you know, it means a lot that people uh, come on my program, uh, people of substance and people who are important people with the church, uh, they make a point to come on the show. And uh, that means a lot. And so I want to thank you all for that. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Other than just remember, you know, I really, you know, there are, there are podcasts out there that have literally thousands of people contributing to their channel. I don't even have close to a fraction of that. And your $10 a month or $50 a month that you would give to a bigger channel, and, and I say don't continue to do so, 
But if you give money like that to this channel, it's actually gonna have a bigger impact uh, than if it's on a channel that's much bigger. So keep that in mind too. If you're wondering where to, if you have extra money that you wanna help and contribute, I have people uh, have told me they're going to contribute. They're going to be, uh, uh, they wanna support my endeavor. Um, some have mentioned Patreon or PayPal. I'm going to ask you, for those of you who have offered that, you know, please reach out to me. Let's let's get something set up, um, whether it's through Patreon, you can reach me that way, or you could uh, just say, okay, I want to direct the deposit money into your PayPal account, and I'm, I'd be more than happy uh, to set something up with you on that. And uh, and that goes a long way because we want to upgrade equipment. There's like about an $1,800 counting the lens. Uh, it's a $1,500 Sony camera. I think it's like a three hundred dollar lens, so it's about it's 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 quite a bit of money, and uh, that's the next big thing that we want to do. We also want to take out this the fourth wall that's in here. It's shelving, so we're going to take the shelving out, and we're going to put a control booth in there, um, so that we can uh, make it easier for Anthony to actually kind of like live produce some of our stuff. So so like when I do the book reviews, just a lot of post production. We kind of want to set it up so that it's actually like a newscast where it's all just being produced live. We can do the book book review and then move out to the next one, do three or four at a time. So that's like our next goal. So this is kind of just an update on the channel. I want to thank Denver Snuffer for coming onto the program. It meant a lot to me. I want to thank all the members of the restoration and the various uh, manifestations and expressions. Um, you, I love you all so much. I also want to thank the Christians that are watching the program. And I had a fairly prominent uh, Christian apologist reach out to me, and he wants to come on my program. And I said, now, how familiar are, with, are you are with me? He said, well, no, somebody just mentioned you that I should reach out. I'm like, oh, that's fine. But I told him, I said, watch some Mormon stories interview. Watch my program because what I'm doing is not what you're doing. And I'm happy to have Christian apologists come on the program um, if they're respectful, um, if they're not there to bash the church. Uh, they're just there to have dialogue and conversations. I'm happy to talk to anyone. I mean, I, I, my channel, I hope, in one sense, exemplifies the spirit of Gerald Tanner, who was a man who never wanted to undermine or hurt the church. He just wanted the history of the church to get out, which I think is important. There's, and, and, and the Tanner's book, the new Tanner's book, does discuss that, how, how you don't think he, they weren't as anti-Mormon as you think they are. There was a stereotype there. And of course, I'll be seeing Sandra at Sunstone. And so hopefully we'll be having an interview with her about her new book, which is very exciting, written by Ron Huggins. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So I think I covered everything I wanted to cover today. I've got some really great stuff coming down. We're going to do the Miracles of the Church of Jesus Christ episode where I have two evangelists, including Josh Galeon, which I think would be very interesting. I also want to hear from my spirit-filled charismatic Christians who watch the program afterwards, because I think you'll be pretty amazed at the stories that they have to tell about some tremendous things that are happening in that church. It looks and feels and sounds a lot like a New Testament church. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button for when a new episode comes out. I also want to remind you that we are available on all the major podcasts, including Apple and Spotify. Anthony's working on uploading this stuff. We're still working on it. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but we're starting to do our own uh, thumbnails. Uh, we're just experimenting. Uh, let us know what you think of the new thumbnails. Just give me feedback. Again, thank you everyone for all that you do. I love all of you. Um, there's so much people, there's so much going on that what you see on my channel is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other behind the scenes things that are happening. Um, this place has become a clearinghouse of what is going on in the restoration across the board, whether it's scholastically or from things that people are telling me, um, stay tuned.